Hello! In this second part of the lecture, I will tell you about the different aspects of language variation. As you know, all languages have complex internal structure that consists of many different layers. The sound layer, the word layer, the sentence layer, many different modules compose language. And change and variation can affect every level of language. So we get phonetic, phonological, morphological, syntactic or semantic variation. First of all, we have variation on the level of sounds. This could be simply a difference in how sounds are pronounced, such as the phoneme R in English can be pronounced as the retroflex R, like in some dialects of English, including received pronunciation. But in other dialects of English, the R can actually be trilled and pronounced as R. That is the case, for example, in Scottish English. Or the variation can affect the phonological structure, and that means that there is variation in which contrasts are used and how. For example, the same sound, R, when it is after a vowel in British English, is typically not pronounced. So, a word um, C-A-R will be pronounced as ka without the R at the end. However, in American English, even word final and post-vocalic R will be pronounced, and the same word will be pronounced car. A good example of phonological variation in Arabic is the contrast between what in Old Arabic used to be k, g, and q. Different dialects of Arabic developed different ways of realizing this phoneme. And so, especially in Gulf Arabic, you can see k being pronounced as ch and g being pronounced as j or y, whereas the Old Arabic q is often pronounced as g. And you see from the table that different dialects have different distinctions within these three sounds, but they always maintain the three-way contrast. So, for example, the word for mountain, depending on the dialect, can be pronounced gebel, jebel, jebel, and yebel. Whereas the word for the moon can be pronounced gamar, amar, or amar. These two words in Old Arabic started with a different sound. And so, in every dialect of Arabic, these two words will start with a different sound. So, there is no dialect that will have both gebel and gamar, right? There has to be the difference between this pair of contrastive sounds but it will depend on the dialect whether it is the word gebel that starts with a g or whether it is the word gamar that starts with a g. This way you can see systematic phonological variation across these Arabic dialects. Variation can affect the level of morphosyntax so, we can observe, depending on the language variety, differences in rules of word formation. For example, some speakers of English would form an adjective such as babyish. Something is babyish, having the qualities of a baby. 
whereas other speakers to form the same meaning will add like instead of ish and form the word baby like you can also see differences in morphological rule in inflectional morphology for example the verb dream for some speakers in some varieties of English has the irregular past form dreamt whereas in other varieties of English has the regular form dreamed similarly we observe differences on the level of how sentences can we can be built and you have some examples of song titles here and you will see that they are different than standard English you see they use different syntactic structures for example you ain't my boyfriend is one type of syntactic structure that in standard English um, you would instead use you aren't my boyfriend similarly in standard English you cannot use a double negation so you would say I can't get any satisfaction however in other communities you can say I can't get no satisfaction with both the can and the satisfaction being negated and finally you can also often see new syntactic structures for example in internet memes such as the why you know meme as illustrated here again why you know listen is not a syntactic structure that you would use in standard english however in this particular language community we could say that Finally, we have perhaps the most noticeable type of variation that is lexical variation in how words are used and which words are used. Sometimes you will see different words used by different speech communities for the same meaning. Like autumn and fall are two different words that uh, describe the same season or trousers and pants are two words for the same piece of clothing sometimes it's the other way around so you will see the same word have different meanings depending on the speech community for example sick could mean that somebody is feeling ill or it could mean that something is really really cool cool is another example cool could mean that something is not warm or it could be mean that something is nice or fit could signify being sporty or being attractive you can i'm sure think of many such different words in the different um, different arabic dialects um, can you think of the difference between the word used for camel in Emirati Arabic and elsewhere? You will have a chance to talk about this in class. All of these different phonetic, phonological, morphological, syntactic and lexical variants can be used in different speech communities or sometimes even within the same community. Forms that vary at the same time, so different forms that are used at the same time, we call synchronic variation. That is variation that is happening at the same time. But over time, this may lead to a permanent change in the language or in the language variety, and we call this diachronic variation. That's when forms vary over time and something that used to mean one thing or used to be used in one particular way permanently changes to a different thing. For example, the words awful and awesome 
used to mean the same thing. They were both positive words. But in time, awful developed a negative connotation. And right now, they mean the exact opposite things. Or more recently, you can think of the word literally, which now increasingly is accepted to mean not literally at all, but just for emphasis. In this way, you see yet again how language variation and language change are very, very closely connected.